Hi, I'm Kevin and welcome to this video on correlation between assets. So correlation is a statistical measure which describes the strength and the direction of a linear relationship between two or more variables. Now a high correlation implies that the two assets or two variables are very closely related and on the other hand a low correlation implies that they are either unrelated or very less related with each other. Now a classic example of a correlation is two assets that move in a very similar manner at the very same time. The moments although might not be an exact match but they are similar enough that we can say that they are highly correlated. Correlation is quantified by the correlation coefficient p and the formula is as shown here. So here uh, p is nothing but the covariance between x and y divided by the standard deviation of both the variables which is x and y. Now the value of this coefficient always ranges between minus 1 and plus 1. So here minus 1 indicates that the assets are negatively correlated. That means there is a perfect downward slope between the two assets. Similarly 0 indicates there is no correlation between the two assets and 1 on the other hand indicates that both the assets are highly correlated. That means there's a positive upward slope. Now let us move one step further and understand how to calculate the correlation between assets using Python. So to find the correlation between two assets, uh, you can simply use a core method in Pandas. So this method calculates the correlation between two columns or series in any data. So here's a quick example. First, we need to import the adjusted close price data for two stocks. So let's consider Apple and Microsoft. Now after importing the data, we will simply use the core method in Pandas as shown over here. And as you can see, the values of the correlation coefficient turns out to be 0.91. So what this implies is, uh, since it is very close to one, both these assets, Microsoft and Apple, are highly correlated with each other during the specified time frame. Now, key application of correlation is diversification and risk management. Now, here's a classic example. If two assets are highly correlated, then a change in the value of one asset is obviously going to hint at a change in the value of the other asset as well. So, by analyzing the correlation between different assets, you can always create a diversified portfolio for yourself, which contains a mix of assets that are not perfectly correlated with each other but complement each other on the other hand. One more application of uh, correlation is pairs trading. Consider two assets which are highly correlated and one of the assets is outperforming whereas the other is underperforming. In such a scenario you can always short the asset which is outperforming and buy the asset which is underperforming in the hope that in the future it will return back to the mean levels of correlation and maintain them. So overall the applications of correlation are many and it can be used by everyone for a lot of trading strategies as well. Now that we have studied a few applications of correlation, let us also look at some limitations of the same. One of the first limitations of correlation is that correlation can change over time. This means that the correlation value that you see today or in the past may not necessarily hold true or maintain itself in the future. Another limitation of correlation is that uh, it does not capture all the risk. This means that it does not take into account all the factors that may affect the value of an asset. For example, it does not consider the interest rates or the macro macroeconomic factors or other economic conditions that are at play. Now hopefully by now you have a great deal of clarity about the concept of correlation. Now a key point to keep in mind before you go and implement it is that correlation should not be the only foundation of your trading strategies. It should always be used in conjunction with other properties such as co-integration etc. So now that you know how to calculate correlation between assets, go ahead and try it out on your favorite assets and let us know in the comments if you find any highly correlated assets as well. 